usually at this point it's just like all on stress <laughs> um, for whatever reason I don't feel that way right now maybe um, maybe that's a good thing maybe it's a bad thing um, but anyway you cut it two weeks out there's a lot of things on my mind that I got to deal with in terms of um, you know anybody who, out there who's listening who's competed before um, especially someone who's traveled to compete you know especially got on a plane and you know, pack all this stuff there's a lot a lot of just crap that you know it, it entails so I'm going over in my mind okay all the things that I need I mean it's bad enough when you travel regularly you know trying to think of everything you need you don't want to forget anything and traveling for a show it's like that times 10 because you're like okay I need to bring my posing trunks and I need to bring my music and oh wait a minute my music that reminds me I haven't even put together a, a posing routine yet and it's two weeks out from the show um, okay I need you know stuff for photo shoots I need uh, you know it's not like you need clothes to go out to dinner or anything like that but um, how much food do I need to bring? And I mean, yesterday I prepped 80 pounds of chicken and uh, vacuum sealed 50 pounds of fish. That's just so that being two weeks out right now, I'm not going to have to do any more cooking. At least, you know, I'm not going to have to prep any chicken or fish until um, when I come home from Australia. Because I got two weeks till the Arnold. And then that following week, I travel to Australia to compete in the Australian Grand Prix. Um... And then I got a week-long tour over there. But I mean, once once the Aust Australian Grand Prix is, uh, you know, once I've competed in that, then I don't care. Then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll go eat whatever. Not whatever, but um, I don't have to bring enough food for that whole trip. But I need to have enough food for the next three weeks. And knowing that stuff's going to get kind of crazy, try to get as much of that out of the way right now. I mean, as, as you could probably tell, I mean, considering the things we've already talked about today and everything I've shown you, it's all food. I mean, it's not all food, but... And the food is just the biggest part of it at least for me I feel like it's just that requires so much preparation and so much planning and you know even if, if I train for two hours a day let's just say and you know that that's a that's a lot of training um, if I'm eating six times a day and it takes me half an hour to eat a meal that's three hours spent just sitting there eating every day not to mention the time you put into prepping it and you know all that kind of stuff um, so the food is a huge part traveling with your food it's a pain in the ass but I've got a bit of a system down so the idea right now is I'm just kind of going over in my mind everything I need you know with the Arnold coming up in the Aussie Grand Prix I gotta bring stuff with me to sell I mean you know fans typically they want photos I got t-shirts now going to Australia to think about okay how am I gonna get all that stuff over there because I'm gonna being that I'm seeing that I'm going over there to compete I'm gonna have a lot of crap with me um, that's already taken up room in my baggage. How am I going to bring, say, 200 T-shirts and um, you know all these photos? And I got a dozen uh, custom weight belts that I'm going to bring. How am I going to get all this stuff over there? So uh, you know, it's it's a lot of time spent uh, thinking about and planning, which is just the logistics of everything. Um, though I will say, as it's going on, I've gotten better at it gotten more of a system down but yeah I mean typically if this were leg day I'd be thinking about you know okay what am I gonna do for legs and kind of preparing myself mentally luckily it's Monday I've got uh, arms and shoulders today so I don't need to be sitting here quite you know getting myself so psyched up so the majority of the time I'm just sitting here thinking about okay how's the rest of my day gonna run how's the rest of my week gonna run what's next what's next week gonna look like um, a lot of preparation it's a lot of planning both mentally and physically so that's a lot of it
Workout's over. You guys have already seen this once already. It's back. It's my post-workout meal. Question I get asked often is, um, you know, how come you don't have like a shake post-workout? Um, you know, first of all, being pre-contest, I don't really have any shakes in my diet. And two, yeah, um, even if I was off-season, I prefer having like a carb drink, um, like carbo plus or something during training with uh you know some some aminos you know everybody knows nitro is like my my go-to product um i prefer to have that during training and still once the workout's over still just have a meal um shakes as much as people feel like they digest quickly for them for me i feel like they actually kind of sit around for a little bit and actually feel like the food actually goes down quicker and i'm able to eat again sooner you know it maybe makes no sense at all um but that's that's what it is. Um, besides, you know, when you're pre-contest, it's almost like a meal. It's, you know, it's even though it's pre-workout, it's whatever. It's kind of just another meal. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, this is not that sauce. It's just I used to use the bottle. There's just apple cider vinegar in there. Typically, we throw a little bit of hot sauce on this, but. I forgot it. That's kind of a bummer. But I'll live. 